Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today we're going to be focusing on our retro arc how to. Uh, this one's a bit of a side note. It's to add bezels to your game. So if you want to cover up those black lines on a 16 by 9 monitor, you're going to want the bezel project. And the bezel project is just my hats off to everyone involved with the bezel project. It's a huge undertaking and I can't believe they went through all of the time and effort to create something like this. Now this was originally from what I my understanding is for RetroPie but they went ahead and made a version for Windows so that's what we're going to be utilizing today. So basically if you go to the link in the description it's going to take you to this page here and you can read a whole bunch regarding the bezel project. Now you're going to want to go over to releases and you'll see v1.1.12.1. Click that. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to get bezel.project.setup.exe. And we're going to left click and download. And once it's done, I already have a bunch, but once it's done, you're going to open that file. And you may be prompted with Windows protected your PC. It's, it's a false warning, nothing wrong with Bezel Project. Click more info, click run anyway. And here's where we get started. So we'll click next. And you can read the whole agreement if you so choose. I click, I accept the agreement, next. And you can keep reading if you so choose. And I click next. And then you can create a desktop shortcut or not up to you next and install so I already have it installed I'm getting this pop-up if you don't have this installed you won't I'll just overwrite and launch bezel project yes so upon launch um, they're gonna give you some ideas here of what's taking place and for the RetroArch main bezels, the pack is inclusive for any ROMs located in the Arcade FBA MAME Lib Retro ROM folders. So if you're following my guide along, your MAME 2003 Plus and your FBA, uh, FB Neo folders will be included. So let's just scroll down, hit OK. And before downloading, Make sure you you use the utility menu to set your directory pass bezel style under preferences. So we'll hit OK, and we're going to go to that preferences. So today we're only focused on the retro arc right here. Um, what you'd want to do is just click select wherever you have retro arc installed. Mine is on my desktop. I'm just going to hit the retro arc folder. OK, no subfolders, and. You can have the themed, which each game will have their own, or you can have system art, which would be the bottom one here. Uh, per system will have the same bezel for every game. So I'm going to do themed and hit save. Now we're going to go up to download, uninstall, update bezel pack. will automatically enable bezels. All right. I'm going to click that. We're processing RetroArch today, so we're going to click that, and we're going to hit OK. First thing I like to do is go to the second option, Update Install Script. Leave these both as yes. Hit OK. It confirms, yes, we've updated. OK. And you'll see we're running FB Neo but, and MAME, if you're following my guide along. We don't have an option for FB Neo, but we'll do MAME. So we'll hit install MAME, not installed, OK. And this is going to download the archive. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So as soon as it's done, I'll be back. So now that Bezel Project is done, I'm going to go ahead and close it out and then hit exit. And I'm going to launch RetroArch. So even though it said it would be automatically enabled, I think the best thing we could do is go to settings, user interface, on-screen display, and on-screen overlay. So it is set to off 
we are going to change that to on. And then we're going to go back to the main menu. And we're going to go to main menu, configuration file, save current configuration. And there we go. So now let's choose a game. Go to arcade games and we'll choose, I don't know, 19xx, run it. And there we go. So we now have our bezel. So I'll press F1, close content, and we can go into MAME 2003 Plus and let's run Batman. Hit run, and there is your bezel. No problem. F1. Close content. So one thing I like to do is I like to actually go to my main menu and I like to quit RetroArch. And let's make sure that our configuration saved. So RetroArch.exe. And we're going to go ahead and go to settings, user interface, on-screen display, on-screen overlay. And it's saved. So I always like to confirm things like that to make sure that everything is working properly. Let's go to one more game. I don't know. Let's do brute force. And we run it. And there we go. So just a quick little bezel project for Windows video for you guys to help you with your RetroArch setup of having your arcade games. You can run it for NES as well or whatever consoles or other systems that you're running through RetroArch. You just follow the same process and you'll be good to go. So please hit that like and subscribe button, but most of all, have a good day.